Travis Montague, founder and CEO of Holler, and this is Conversation Nation. I am joined with Meredith Grauer, Chief Privacy Officer of Nielsen. Meredith, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here. Before we kick things off, why don't you just give people a quick background on you and uh, what you do at Nielsen? I'm Nielsen's Chief Privacy Officer. Um, which means I lead a global team of um, privacy professionals, both lawyers and non-lawyers, um, and we are responsible for establishing Nielsen's privacy policies, um, ensuring compliance, advising our businesses, um, and helping to set Nielsen's strategy around data use and, and sharing. You know, we're seeing players like Google and Apple take a very, start to get really active around this topic. What are some of the things you might like that come to mind as this world is changing around us that might be some of the impacts that we see in 2021 as a result of this. There is the laws and regulations and they're a baseline for us, right? I mean, you have to comply, you have to understand the fact that more and more data is now subject to these requirements. Um, these laws give individuals the right to know a lot more about what companies are doing, um, to actually have more choices about what, you know, how your data is being used. I hope that what we see is, you know, companies really thinking about privacy as part of the strategy. You know, how are you building in, um, you know, capabilities to give people information about what, you know, what data have you collected? How are you building in choices? Do we need the data that we're collecting? I mean, I think, you know, always being mindful of, you know, are there less privacy, you know, impactful ways of doing things. So I, I think a lot of organizations are starting to think about those things as part of the design. I mean, you hear the concept of privacy by design or privacy by default. I love this concept of privacy by design. We at Holler, right? When we thought about how we were going to approach um, the problem, Given that we live in consumer private conversations, what is the minimal things that we need to be able to accomplish that goal? And how do we ensure that it does, it, it, that we keep consumers' privacy just that private? Yeah. Our approach was, well, like if we just take, change, turn everything on its head, and we say, actually, we're gonna do all of our analysis on the device, right versus in the cloud right. well that makes it private i mean i i often think about it when we're you know making decisions it's you know how would i explain this to the individual to the consumer you know could i and, and would they say oh that's great or would they look at me like you're doing you know you're doing what you know that that's not okay have you yeah. seen a change in how these conversations used to happen several years ago versus how people are approaching those same type of conversations now I, I have, and again, I think it's a good thing. I do feel like the media gives much more attention to the bad actors um, and the things that aren't working um, than to the things that are. I choose to believe that most organizations want to do the right thing. Um, you know, the, the desire for data isn't um, because they're evil or because they think they can, you know, be sneaky and, and figure out ways to, you know, use data in ways that people don't want. Um, I think most organizations want to be conscious. They want to be able to tell a good story and, and have consumers, you know, trust them. That, that's helpful to the brand. I think what we we're seeing is the natural course of innovation. I mean, like if, when we think of go back to the days of when people started using fossil fuels, no one would have said that that was a bad idea. Look how much innovation that that created, the ability to do that. Then we had to come, we, had, we learned it's, it's an impact over time. And we figured out we had to do certain things differently and regulate and build a more sustainable way. And so I believe that there's, there's this is a moment, a really awesome moment where we can say, that doesn't mean we shouldn't, <laughs> energy or data is bad, right? Yeah. <clears throat> now. That's actually driving a lot of innovation, right? Companies are being forced to say, can we do this in a different way? You know, can we, we thought we needed all this personal information or we thought we needed these identifiers, you know, can we find a solution that actually, you know, is more privacy friendly and still gets us to our goal or even, you know, changes our goals um, and, and gets us other things or better things. I mean, in your opinion, do you think that we as uh, the tech industry have an obligation to, you know, educate, more aggressively educate uh, consumers about uh, what's happening with their data. I don't know if it's an obligation. I sure think it's in the industry's interest to do so, though. Um, 
because I do feel like, you know, a lot of the negative consumer sentiment, you know, the stories that get played up in the media um, often reflect a real lack of understanding of what actually happened. And we hear it occasionally from consumers, you know, they have this concern almost that like they're always on camera and you're constantly collecting their information and we know everything about them from their social security number to their credit card number to, you know, home address. and. I mean, most companies are not processing that much information. Um, and a lot of the way the world works, you know, is based on data um, that is, you know, personal or protected, but um, much less sensitive. You know, what are some of the things that you think marketers should be thinking about in this type of climate? I'm a big proponent of transparency. And that goes back to all the things we were just discussing, right? Um, I think when consumers feel like they can trust an organization, you know, that they understand what's happening, they're much happier to just go with it, to give up their data or to allow things to happen or to use different tools and services. You know, I think we ought to treat consumers like they're, you know, smart people um, yeah. who just want to be educated and informed and, and will make, you know, decisions that benefit them, but also will benefit companies. Thank you so much for joining us today. This has been awesome. And I hope that you have a great start to your year. Thank you and you too. It's been it's been fun to to have the conversation and um, always up for another. So thank you for having me.